So we'll wait and for... And currently, I see Corvi and Candlelight tied at first place. So we'll, we'll, we'll wait for them to start and we'll hop into that game. So it probably will be an exciting game. Look, both of them looks like a pretty solid player. So the, the game has started. Let's hop into the game. So from the chat, from the tournament chat, it seems that uh, they were saying that top two are Ukrainians. So we have two Ukra Russians, Ukrainians, that is tied at the top place. Look, looks like Russians are pretty good in this game and they totally wrecked us from the sea. So let's go. Deck wise, I think a uh, candlelight lineup and deck lineup wise, I think candlelight has a slightly stronger deck, stronger lineup. Deck wise, it looks like candlelight has a slightly stronger lineup as well, with strong late games and strong early games. So miss variable mask, very strong. Double Oklody, 1D Portal. While Kobe early game seems to be slightly weaker. So let's look at the board. Mm -hmm. I'm back. You're back. Alright, let's see what's going on here. So first round, uh, nothing happens. All the no castle. <laughs> uh, no hero has died. No, one hero has died. Lion, had, Lion died to the Lycan. Okay, so why would you flop like Lion in yeah, I know. the first turn? I have no idea. Lion is a very, very bad flop. Yeah, it dies to almost any heroes. So here, you can either slay or play the Oglodi. Yeah, you play the Oglodi. Oglodi sets up for a uh, next turn kill with the hit fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Slay will push you for 9 more damage. I think Oklodi is stronger. Because it's block 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 7 damage. So here you can better feel control would... to save. The Jumoi? Yes. But that By also changing means... the lion. Yeah. To the creep. Yep, so he kills the creep. And what I would do, I would just put the Savage Wolf to get more damage and HP. To yeah. snowball all the damage and HP here. But which means also, uh, Kobe is not spending his mana effectively this strong, which is sad. Mm -hmm. with, with the Wolf Plate, it seems to be... The middle lane is very hard for Kobe. Yep. Savage Wolf is a creep that just is a hero by himself if, if he stays alive for like at two turns. It becomes a hero. Yeah, so, <laughs> what I'll do now is I would probably play Salamene's favor into lane one. Okay. Yep. Because lane three, you basically do not have to do anything. Your draw is just self sustaining over there. So for Candlelight, he has one lane, second lane, so he he has chose to commit to lane one. So as Kobe, uh, he decides to defend the middle lane. Mm -hmm. uh, which oh, I he think wants it, to go in for lane two. Yeah, which I think it's a decent play. Because you have a slay in hand, so you want a black hero there. Slay the creep, and you also have headshot coming in the turn after. So you hit fire the PA. There you go. Oh, that would mean your Debbie would also die. So yeah, that's we'll... kind of sad. <laughs> yeah. It's, well, he, he doesn't uh... have money to buy items, but I'll, I'm fine with yeah. that trade. Yep, I'm fine with that trade as well. So slows down the the black. Because you know, you open black card, you have stuff, you have a lot of creeps. Mm -hmm. While blue, you doesn't do it's it's all spells. So killing off the black cards basically shuts down the. Oh, that's a very weak one for me. 
confused. Yeah, the, the, that's rather weak. So over here, um, there's nothing that Corvi can do to save anything. He can probably try to save um, his Jomoi by slaying the creep. Yeah, you either slay... Yeah. You probably slay the creep because... Apparently not, he plays the Thailand State Sensor. Ah, uh, which is and also very strong. All, uh, all Candlelight has to do is use his Rumus Blessing and then all of his things survive. Oh yeah, that is painful. Ta da! <laughs> this is super painful. For Kobe. and all of Kobe's stuff die. Yeah, so for candlelight, uh, he, the reason that he played the one for us for the travelers club is probably to save the draw draw here. Yeah, yeah. So I say that that that. That's that's, that's something. Play. Yeah, that's that's a good play. I would keep the TP for next turn and TP the draw and then just redeploy him after again afterwards. Yeah, you, you redeploy the draw if if he's dying. Mm -hmm. Or else you just leave him there. So mid lane seems to look Yeah, it's kind of sad. He has uh Corvi has three heroes in the fountain. Yeah. So there's nothing he can do from his standpoint. The the only thing he can probably do is in lane three. Where he can try to actually there's literally nothing he can do. <laughs> Sadly. So yeah. So this is a power turn for candlelight because uh Kobe Yeah, has... so candlelight has so many things he can do. He can yeah, so he can use develop dimension portal. Develop the board. Mm -hmm. Uh you also I think you also equip the ball if you want. I guess it's just two damage is fine. So does Corby has a board clear to salvage one of his lane? He has thunderstorm. I think he has to draw the thunderstorm. Yeah, but the issue is if he draws the thunderstorm, he would not have enough mana to play it because he only has one blue hero. So yeah. when he draws the thunderstorm in that lane, he won't have the mana to play that card. Why? So um. I'm gonna leave this for a bit. I'm gonna look at how many cards Corvi has as so Corvi has one uh he has one blue hero, he has nine blue cards. Which I feel that um he could have substituted Lion out for another blue hero. Because his his blue cards is quite okay. decent. I guess quite decent, I guess. Uh, so it feels okay for me. If, if he has to put another Jomoy in, then I think it's not strong enough. If you put something like a Sky Rough, then it's fine. Yeah, but uh, like, he's also playing Lion, so Lion is <laughs> quite a very bad play. Quite a very bad hero. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> he's just taking away the Lion so easily. And in the next turn, Ku is coming out. He's gonna wreck whatever hero he wants. Yeah, so for Corey, he has to draw th only Thunderstorm to be able to salvage a lane, either lane 1 or lane 2, or else I think it's just over. So he's, he's now committing into lane 1. And you which uh, he committing should right have into thought the, about. The Fissure. And he's committing. Yeah, he's no, he's committing into Echo Slam. So. That's something I would also not want to be a part of, actually. But Echo Slam uh, deals 4 damage, uh, which is still fine. I either way, you commit, you are committing into yeah, so Echo Slam. It... I, I would agree to commit to the first lane, but I might put one black on the, on the middle. Because you have two assassinates. Mm -hmm. you, you... Yeah, so you can use uh, two different lanes. Yeah. <coughs> but he didn't think it through actually, so he's probably just gonna get fissure. Oh, this is a and... very bad. Oh, this is a very value fissure. Yeah. So all three heroes are stunned and they and can't do anything at all. All right. Yeah. So. If you are Kobe, you 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 have to be so tilted.
So he proceeds with the Echo Slam, so two of the black heroes instantly dies. Okay, one uh, of the black heroes instantly dies, so he managed to save one of it. Not instantly, like almost died. Okay. Yep, and there's nothing he can do in lane one. So this lane is second lane is done for candlelight. At this point you can TP out one of your guys. Yeah, we'll just TP out the um the Lycan and put him in lane one. Yeah, Lycan. To, and then to next, just finish up the... next, next turn you drop the Thunder Height Alpha. Yeah, that's right. So just TP out the Lycan and just put him in lane one to end the game in the next turn. Yep, that's fine. that's 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 fair. He TPs out the Skyraf. Why? <laughs> Why would you TP out the Skyraf? Uh, not too sure. Okay, in this lane he can Q. All right, and I I'm guessing he's gonna cool someone. Uh. He, this is the only lane he can use cool, so I'm, I'm guessing that he will just probably just cool someone. The, the thing about cool is you might discard one of the cards that you want to play, right? So, so you, it's a uh, uncalculated risk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't. I don't think you play cool. You just. It doesn't matter because your first lane is. Yeah. So your first lane is losing. That's you, a rather sad thing. Cannot like just keep. So what I would do is I would. I would just either put me some Avernus in lane one, yeah, and try to get as much damage in. I'll probably just assassinate the 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 Earthshaker and then, and then uh, okay, he didn't do that. So I'll probably if you assassinate the Earthshaker and then the next turn you just hit shot it, then yeah. that will have given you one. So that that is if you hope that uh, kind of like. Give some initiative. So what I'll do as candlelight, you just don't do anything. You keep the initiative and you mistake flare, kills everybody. Yeah. So mystic flare. So mystic flare they'll kill both of them and then it's game over for Corvi. So actually, Candlelight's deck is a very, very strong I think deck a, to fight against. It's a very strong deck, and he's playing quite, yeah. quite well as well. Especially with an Earthshaker, <laughs> you, you seldom see Earthshaker in tournament plays. Yeah, it's a, it's a rare. No, I'm so I yep, personally so... feel Earthshaker is not super strong. Mm -hmm. But if you use Earthshaker against a lane that you're already losing, uh, it might help you, you win back the game. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing about Oshaker is, uh, I think against better player, they are better at not over committing. So. So. Yeah. As of GG. now, that's. This is GG. For well, kind of like. Okay. It seems like. Candlelight might have been our winner. Although we have one more round, so we'll see. So I have request from Facebook that we spectate a no-name APF. So let's see if his game is still on. Alright. I think he's a Fil Philippines. Yep, he's, he's fighting against PC Dart. So if no-name wins here, which I, which I dis- which I think he he does. Which means he is probably going to play candlelight. No. So candlelight is probably going to play yeah, one one of the five one players. So whoever wins that mm -hmm. might be the champion, right? So, so right now let's head into Jacobs. Yep. So let's watch Jacob versus Bicep. 
Okay. Looks like we are seeing another Earth Shaker here. Yeah. The moment that you, you say it's rare, then we, we see two Earth Shaker. <laughs> yeah. So with this duel, does, is it enough to kill the tower? No, not yet. Nope. No, it's not. But it seems like Jacob is on the back foot because of this Red Mist Pillager and he has yet to take one tower. So what I would do next, right? Um, judging by the amount of Red Mist Pillager here, I would want to keep initiative as Jacob and then just echo slam the whole board. Yeah, you have to. Echo Slam doesn't kill the board. Let's count. Does it, the question is, does it kill the Bristol back? So you need 15 damage to kill the Bristol back. So how many creeps are there? I can't, I can't count now. So first lane had a... Okay, so He's putting Pelex in right now, so let's see. So actually, against a red-black deck, so you read into Weiser's deck. Does he have any way to remove your prelect? It doesn't seem like there is. So I think you can echo slam the first lane as as, as well as the last lane. Home. Yeah, there you go. So a red black, that's... Okay, that's dual. That, that is dual. So he has 13 creeps on the last lane. 13 creeps. Yeah, so... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Oh, I'm counting halfway. <laughs> The annoying part of the spectator is we are looking at other lane. Seven, eight, 8 plus 5, 13. Yeah, so he has 13. Yeah, I think you... Uh, because Weiser has dual, so he should probably not play the Echo Slam right, right here. I think it's a bit too risky. But we know, but we see Weiser's deck. He, he did not draw his dual. Although he has one draw, And Weiser has part has passed that initiative to Jacob. So Jacob now has to keep the initiative if he wants to play around door. Yeah, I think you just you just pass, you don't do anything here. Yeah, so you keep initiative and then you just echo slam on lane tree. I think mean, that's the safest play. You're, you're happy with the quick trading with Legion Commander? I said that you boys have all the fun. If he wants to be a little greedy, he can he could have played Miss of Awareness, but I think yeah, keeping initiative is a safer play. Twenty three health Legion. Wow. That's a big Legion Commander. Uh, right now, I, I would just put the Miss of Evanus, to be honest. Because there's nothing much he can do in the last lane. Well, uh, we, just, we just discussed, right? If you, if you, if he pass so long and he played the Miss of Evanus, he's passing back the initiative. Yeah, but he can't, the Vicer cannot sucker punch. He, and uh, look at that. Jacob. Look at that instantly. <laughs> He instantly got back the whole thing. That is a very, very strong echo slam that we just witnessed. Oh my goodness, that's like 13 creeps. 15 creeps actually. Yeah, 15. 13 creeps and one hero dead in an instant. Yeah. Wow, that's something you really do not see every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the thing is, uh, Jacob do not know if Weiser has dual or not. So I think yeah. playing for, for the initiative is, is a safer mm -hmm. play. Safer play. Yep. So, what is Weiser's win condition here? It feels like with his deck, he has to rely on... Either, Spring the trap or duel to try to fight for the last lane. 
do the 10 damage. Mm -hmm. First lane seems to imp impossible to break. Look at this wall. And the creep is just, just going to keep coming because of Pelex, uh, the barracks. Look at Jacob, you save. Probably save one of, one of your hero by putting down. by. The cunning plan. Would you would you use the cunning plan to save your F Shaker? I uh, one, one, one of the blue. Maybe the Jomoy because Jomoy is gonna hit tower. Okay, so never mind. He saves his, and okay. he gets four sides, so you can have two more cards to see what he gets. I would do that actually. Uh... I would definitely do that. Yep, you can four side, draw two extra cards. You play Mist from the middle lane to the first lane? Yep, so that's what So I hope he would do. I think Foresight now has no value. You just probably just put the Troll Soothsayer. Because once you draw, you, you're left with two mana. You can't play those cards yeah. anyways. Correct. Yeah, this, this lane is not going anywhere. As Jacob, you also play the Red Mist Mall. Push. The extra 5 damage. Correct. And then I would just use the Assassin's Veil on one of the. on Jamoy to save him as well. So, as oh, Visor. Eh, what did you do? Oh, wait. What, what happened? Oh, okay. What happened is he tr he wanted to put Facebook on that. Ah, oh, but, but the thing when. But uh, the Stone Hall Cloak actually has more. HP, so it HP. actually killed him. Yeah. <laughs> so that is a very bad play. <laughs> that, that is, is a very, a very bad play. Beginner mistake, guys. So if. Before you re equip your health item. Okay, so. Look at it. Look at the health first. Especially if it's, it's a stone yeah. cloak. That's true. So what I would do here is I would better few control the, the, the ogre conscript and make it attack the creep. Ogre Conscript. Four. Is to that attack it? the creep, so it will save the Magnus. Or, uh, yeah, uh, you can actually swap the Magnus out. Works yep. either way. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he did it. Either way, it saves the Magnus, and that's something that you want. Yeah, so Kalim And Kalim now he saves the Jomoy as well. Nice. So now you equip the sword for, for the Magnus so that it kills the creep. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So is does Visor has any play? There's no play. So and I think now <laughs> what you do next is put the Miss of Evanus on lane one. To the first lane. And that's what he does. That's good. So and just pass all the way next lane. <laughs> and a search, alright. That's fine, that's fine, that's a good play. He blocks I... the over conscript. Yeah. The so that's is... something fine. So uh, a cute play that Wiser can do here is double sucker punch. And sword sword that will deal little. Yeah, so But we know Let's in Jacob's hand he can... uh, I would have gone for that play. Uh, it doesn't do it. I would have gone for that play. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> so which means this game is actually Jacob's because Lane 1 is dealing lethal damage. Debbie can go in to block one creep, but that's not gonna do much of a difference. Um Tower Barrage will take out that Prowler Vanguard very easily. And power will give a hero four extra damage. Yep. So it's lethal no matter. Oh wow, what is this? This is a curl. something nobody expected. That is a very, very sad curve. And here you can see the duo is in, so what would Are if I you would, I would duo the Magnus? No, I don't think you don't oh, duo wait, here. That, that's lethal. Uh, you block. So that's little damage now. 
So what I will do is you I, you sucker punch the you will suck I will sucker punch first and then only your block. But then I think I guess blocking is fine. Blocking first is fine because uh, you don't want to risk. You save the door for the last lane so so that it opens up for the bristol to go for the lethal. Oh yeah, and then you come back training it. Uh, or short sword. But Jacob's hand has plenty of answers. Yeah, so let's just see how this plays out. So game is not going anywhere. It's not ending anytime soon. So this is a qualifier for an invitational that we are hosting at the end of the month. Um, it will be for the top eight players of all four qualifiers. And yeah, there will be more prizes then, but we have not decided what prizes we have. So that will come out at a later date. Yep, and as, as you see, we have a, we have a donation bar going on so we are currently crowdfunding the prize pool for next for next month so if you are interested to support us feel, feel free to do so so right oh. now I'll, as, as visa uh not too sure about this though yeah me neither what i what i'll do is i'll try to bait jacob to spend all his card send his mana and then you do hey you know, I think he actually missed Lito by playing a combat training. He can double sucker punch. Yeah, he could have double sucker punch and then put a shot sword and one. And and that's but, a little. But he didn't. So okay. I do not know what's going on. <laughs> that's but, a very bad play by And look, now there's another crit coming down, so that's one more chance he gets to see if he can get the lethal damage in yeah. this turn. But that only happens if he manages to block the damage given by the first lane. One minute and then four surrender. One four surrender. So, one so Visor has 58 <laughs> seconds left on his clock. For this turn. So he has to be careful. Yeah. So I see Jacob has gotten a blink dagger. So if Jacob manage to score little here okay he's one damage extra so you block with the oglody or you can pick a fight that both of them stops damage so you oglody probably oglody in front of the magnus so it looks like uh jacob has no way to push extra damage Commander. Mm -hmm. a fancy title for a petty so let's see if Weiser see that line of play but he he has played the sucker punch so well but you imagine in lane 2 he can actually put um two uh two salamina favor in lane 1 and that would be very very overpowered yeah he, sh he should have, could have played it last turn right yeah. So the magic the magic king more just condemn one of the um what was that? One of the improvements which I forgot what was it. <laughs> it was uh can I I did not pay attention either. Thunder height. Uh you can also drop the thunder height here, considering Jacob has three mana. And he does. And it goes in front of the Magnus. Yep. Which is fair, yes. So that's that's quite fair. You're dealing you're getting eight damage plus three retaliate. So I think 
wiser, might have might have missed little, but okay. So according to Pumpkin Seed, um, the the improvement that was condemned was barracks, which is fine. Okay, barracks. Yeah, barracks. I probably don't want to condemn the barracks, cause that is your blockers. Probably the the worst improvement to condemn. You might want to condemn. The Salamis favor is probably the, uh, the the worst one. So right now you have yep. So so he's gonna blink it into lane three. Probably That's what I would do. Lane one, right? Because lane one is time. Oh, or yeah, lane three true. if you are afraid of. Yep. <laughs> like like I said, he put two Salamis level favors into lane one, so he has 18, 18 one. mana in lane one. And he's such a creep over. Search and blink to the to first lane. And he's probably gonna blink as well. Yeah. Blink to first lane. Yep. 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 So lane three, what can Bisabek do? Uh if he has a duel, it's nothing. Little. That's a, not nothing. He missed little, so let's see if play. let's see if that cost him the game. So so Jacob has two blue heroes coming. So look at the amount of Salamene favor in one lane. And and Weiser passes back initiative to Jacob, and now this Earthshaker is going to drop his hammer on both hero, but unfortunately. That should be lethal, right? So if you yep, stun, it is. you stun, and that's all. That's it. Our enemies will be dead soon. I, I, yep, I, and game over. Game over. So, yeah. Why is there miss, nothing miss, he can <laughs> Missing little there was costly. Cost him the game. Let me tell him. I have to tell him. Is this the last round or? Nope, there's one more oh, round. There's one more round. Go. 